So my in my anime analysis may actually be short this week since I only watched three things and I don't have a lot to think about regarding two of them. Uh, let's see. I watched Dominion Tank Police. It was pretty okay. Nothing about it stood out as um, comparing favorably to somebody who um, really likes newer stuff or something. So, pretty much, I guess that just means it was a very 80s or 90s anime. I don't know. Right now, I can't think about Decade. I think it's the 90s, but I could be mistaken. Otherwise, kind of related to that, I also watched um, the original Appleseed OVA slash movie thing. I guess, actually, that's just Central Park Media calling everything a movie. So it would be the original Appleseed OVA. And it was... I, I was actually surprised how much of the um, current Appleseed concepts were actually still there then. It wasn't completely there, though. Again, it's still very much an anime of its time. Going back to watch it, it didn't leave me with an impression that this is an anime that everybody has to go back and watch no matter what. But that doesn't mean it was bad, either. I certainly enjoyed my time watching both of those. And speaking of spending my time enjoying watching something, I rewatched uh, Full Metal Panic Fumofu, which is among my favorite 20 anime because uh, Fumofu is just absurdly funny. I mean, it's like I can't wrap my head around just how absurd yet not completely, totally out there all of these are. It's for those of you who aren't familiar with Fumofu, it's b pretty simple. You've got the series known as Full Metal Panic, which is a mecha series, and you've got um, Full Metal Panic, Full Metal Panic Fumofu, and Full Metal Panic Second Raid. Now, even though Fumofu is a second season of sorts, it's really more like a season 1.5, where you got your first season and the second season. Well, the original Full Metal Panic and Second Raid are true mecha anime. Fumofu instead spends its entire time exploring humorously exploring the concept that they set up in the very first one, which is basically that Sergeant Sosuke Sagra is um, an individual who has lived in the military his entire life, and he's having trouble adjusting to school life in Japan, and he gets away with some pretty outrageous and ridiculous things because the mercenary organization he works for um, pays back the school any damages caused, etc., etc. So, um... It was just executed really funnily, even, and it, I think it maintains its humor throughout the entire thing, even though it kind of, I guess it does kind of slow down a little bit in the middle. It doesn't do it too much. But I'm pretty sure my favorite episode is um, actually somewhere within the first couple, but that last episode was also very epic. Oh, well, I guess I didn't really have that much to say about it, so... Um, that's it. Again, we don't know what I'm going to watch this next week because I'm feeling very mellow, relaxed, tired. Maybe because I keep eating a lot. I've been filling up on food, so maybe my body's just saying, no need to do anything, let's just digest. That combined with Pokemon means. Oh well. Anyways, and, and this is uh, Anime Analysis for this week. We'll find out what I watch next week.